hello everyone welcome back with the another video on react native google maps so in today's video we are covering a most uh, uh, important topic on google maps so we are going to cover this react native google map places autocomplete so this places autocomplete thing um, is very very useful when you are building uh, like uh, any uh, ride booking application okay so user will provide the origin and destination so let's get started okay guys so first of all let's head over to the github page this repository okay okay so yeah so right now what we have to do first of all let's uh, install this library so to install this library we have to run this command inside our project so let's run it okay guys so after that what you have to do is to yeah so make sure that the google places api key so you have the api key first of all google map api key and uh, the google places api is enabled okay on your console so make sure these two things are already done so okay and uh, and also make sure that billing must be enabled because this uh, places api needs a billing so you have to add your card okay so after that what we have to do google maps enable google map geocoding api so you have to enable one more api is called geocoding api if you want google reverse geocoding uh, for current location okay so make sure these two steps uh, are already done okay guys so let's move ahead so right now what we have to do is to use we will use this component so let me first run my project okay Okay, so guys, my project is built built successfully, and uh, okay. Now what I have to do is to copy this code and paste it inside my screen. Okay, so let me paste it over here, and uh, let's import this Google Places autocomplete. So as you can see that it will take a placeholder and then on press when you press on any uh, address it will give you the details into the data we will see that if um, we will see that and uh, here in query the most important thing is your API key so you have to pass your API key so let me make a, um, make a like uh, config inside config there are constants okay so let's make it index.js so in here i would like to export google Okay, guys. So API key. So what uh, I'm doing? I export over here. So here I'm going to place my API key, and you have to place your API key over here. Okay. So I copy pasted my API key. We will use our API key over here. So Google Maps API key like this, and uh, here we are consoling the data. So add one more prop over here, which is called on 
fail so on fail will be will give you an uh, error like if your something went wrong with your a api or something else you will get the error for so dot log error okay if, if i'm typing anything over here you cannot see anything right now because uh, because of the styling so let's uh, do one thing like so let's give our map of a z index of zero and uh, let's give uh, this thing of z index of one so it will appear on the top of, of, of map view and uh, let so let's type anything so you cannot see right now because uh, flex of flex of 0.5 so it will take half of the height yeah and uh, if i type oh, anything over here let's type any portal karachi here yeah, as you can see that places api is working okay guys so after that what you have to do is to get the let long from the uh, place like uh, if you search like any place and you click on any of this address so how you can get the let long so to get the let long you have to provide fetch details true and then you have to provide this json dot string file and details dot geometry dot location so if you do that you can get these let long like i'm getting over here okay and uh, okay so let's get this let long and move our, our marker to this let long so how we can do this so to do this what you have to do here i have a function move to location and uh, it will take a map ref so provide a map ref over here okay so this is will be our map ref and uh, we will provide this ref over here so i will say ref is equals to map ref and uh, after that map ref dot current animate to the let and longitude okay and uh, this is the duration of animation so what we have to do is to after getting the latitude and longitude what we have to do that call this function okay so let's uh, say like details dot geometry dot location dot location dot let and lng for longitude and the lng dot lng for longitude so what will happen if i save this use wrap okay so let's uh, import the use ref over here okay so if i search any location so our google map will move to this location so this is it guys for today's video i hope you learned something from this video and if you like the video hit the like button subscribe to my channel and uh, i will see you guys in the next one we, we are going to plot origin and destination and we are going to make a route okay so uh, very good things are coming uh, so be with me uh, on my next video so if you are new so don't forget to subscribe so i will see you guys in the next one till then take care